All right, so the last bit of data. Let's convert this instead of being an apartment. Let's make it a home. Let's go then to a house. And let's just take a typical family of four, 100% usage. Let's convert that over from 240 liters a day. We'll go to tools and we'll go to 240 liters per day. Convert that to gallons. It needs to be 63 gallons. So let's go back to my energy model. Let's just make it a typical 75 gallon just to oversize it because that would be the next typical size up. Proposed case is 75 Fahrenheit, still nice and hot. Formula based inter incremental cost, let's say it's 100 dollars per square foot and it's a hundred dollars multiplied by 75 gallons at seven thousand five hundred dollars roughly for a hundred dollars per square foot I think I'm on the low side with this I think that number could be a little bit higher but let's keep it let's keep it at purely zero degrees facing due south at 55 degrees which is is maximized for that winter collection because we don't want hot water in the summer we can't use anything with we're gonna keep it with the Stiebel L Transsole 25s and we're just gonna keep everything here now we're gonna jump this down to two modules two collectors right there four percent losses that let's do all that the heat exchanger may be a little high that could be watts per square foot that's there so it says we have a solar fraction of that so maybe we go with three let's up that guy to three and now all of a sudden 72 I like that let's see if I had four collectors four collectors 81 hey not too bad I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull off four collectors for seventy five hundred dollars I'm thinking no I think realistically I could pull three off for that seventy five hundred dollars to get seventy two percent we're gonna keep it still at efficiency rating of eighty percent that means how much can we convert that natural gas to heat the hot water and how much can we save by doing that I'm gonna raise this value up to sixty three cents a therm that it would include some delivery cost and everything else so let's just make it a little more costly but just in, in lines of what we're doing so we would have a fuel cost per year look at that of 31 bucks as opposed to 112 let's go back here 40 years it's three percent total cost is seven thousand five hundred dollars now if I take that by the 55 percent which is the cost savings of the 30 percent federal rebate and the 25 percent state of Illinois rebate we get a rebate factor of four thousand one hundred twenty five now we've got some operating costs annual costs and we're gonna save about hundred and twelve dollars a year but it's the payback is still gonna be way out there right at forty years boy howdy it's it's a tough sell I know what people are saying to me there's some other numbers that you can go some people like to increase this because of the natural gas inflation and stuff and then you're gonna say that's gonna be seven I don't know which way the winds gonna blow on that I really don't I don't know I, I just don't know you can see though it's a smaller system seven thousand dollars the total out-of-pocket cost is going to be oh somewhere near three thousand dollars and one issue that you can make the case for is having the system on your home worth an added value so if you go to sell it would that add a value to your home and I know the answer to that is yes so there's a lots of variables here but this is just one analysis tool that helps us understand what's going on